Hello friends, I am Rajanish Archandran. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Rajanish Archandran where we can learn various engineering subjects. In this particular video, we are going to study about the projection of points that comes under the topic engineering graphics. In the previous video, we have learned about what is actually a projection that is used in engineering graphics, right? So, as a recap for that, the representation of a three-dimensional object on a two-dimensional plane is known as projection. This two-dimensional, imaginary, transparent and infinite or dimensionless planes are known as principal planes or reference planes. So, according to the number of the principal planes considered in engineering graphics, there are two systems of projections. In two-plane systems or quadrant systems, Two planes are used for projection. One is known as a horizontal plane which is parallel to the ground and the another one is known as a vertical plane that is perpendicular to the ground. The front view of the object is always projected on the vertical plane and the top view of the object is always projected on the horizontal. So these two planes divides the space into four compartments known as quadrants. Namely, first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. So, I have explained this is a vertical plane, this is a horizontal plane, right? And this is of dimensionless infinite length. That means uh, this is extended in this direction as well as in this direction, and horizontal plane is also in this direction as well as in this direction. So we will get a four compartment. One is this one, another one is another one is here, then this is a third compartment, and this is a fourth compartment. So these four compartments in space obtained by the Two planes, horizontal plane and vertical plane are known as the quadrant and there are four quadrants in two plane system namely first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant that can be visible in your screen right now. In some cases, the position of a point cannot be completely represented with the help of these two planes that means with the help of this horizontal plane and vertical plane. In such cases, we can utilize another plane which is perpendicular to both the horizontal plane and the vertical plane. That means sir, if this is the horizontal plane and this is the vertical plane, another plane like this will come which is perpendicular to both HP and VP. Such a plane is known as a profile plane or end plane or side plane. So, with the help of these three planes, we can divide the space into eight compartments known as octants. So, this system in projection is also known as octant system. The front view of an object is also known as elevation and the top view of an object is also known as plan. So these are the things we have discussed in the previous video. Also, I have explained about a term which is called the first angle projection and a third angle projection. In your screen right now, you can see what is a first angle projection and what is a third angle projection. In a first angle projection, the object is placed on the first quadrant so that the front view will always lie above the x-y line and the top view will always lie below the x-y line. You can see in the screen right now. Similarly, in a third angle projection system, the front view will always lie below the x-y line and the top view will always lie above the x-y line. Now, what is the x-y line or reference line? x-y line or reference line is the line which differentiates the two planes. That means the vertical plane and the horizontal plane. So I hope all of you have understood these preliminary or concepts that comes under projections in engineering graphics. Now we are moving to projection of points. So in coordinate geometry, in mathematics, in coordinate geometry, we have learned about axial systems, right? X-axis, Y-axis and Z-axis. Every point in space can be represented with the three coordinates. Similarly, in engineering graphics, I have already told, instead of that axis, in engineering graphics, we are using principal planes, right? There are three principal planes. One is a horizontal plane, one is a vertical plane, and another one is a side plane. For the time being, we are only considering quadrant system. That means uh, only the horizontal plane and the vertical plane. So, every point in space, every point in space see this is a horizontal plane and this is a sorry this is vertical plane and this is horizontal plane every point in space can be represented with the distances from the vertical plane as well as from the horizontal plane see every point in space can be represented using the distances obtained from 
the vertical plane as well as from the horizontal plane. This concept is used in projection of points. So now we have to learn how these distances are measured. That means the distances from the vertical plane as well as from the horizontal plane. See, assume this is a point. Right? This is a point. This point can be represented as a distance in front of VP. Suppose if this is a 10 units, this point can be considered as 10 units in front of VP, right? See, this point is 10 mm or 10 units in front of VP. Similarly, the same point is 5 units above the horizontal plane or above HP. This point can be represented as 10 units in front of VP and 5 units above HP. Is it clear? So, this point is 10 mm in front of VP and 5 mm above HP. So, this is the representation of a point. In this manner, we can represent a point in space in engineering graphics with the help of this principal planes. So, this point can be represented as 10 units in front of VP and 5 units above HP. Is it clear? Similarly, see, this is this plane is of infinite length, right? This plane is of infinite length. This is extend in this direction as well as in this direction. This extends in this direction as well as in this direction. Which means, we will get a quadrant like this also. If a point is lying here, this distance is lying below HP, right? Now, this point is lying below HP and in front of it. See, this is below HP and in front of it. Now, this one. See, point is lying here, above HP, but behind the VP, behind the VP. Above HP, but behind the VP. Now, this one, this point is lying below HP, behind the VP. Below HP, behind you. So, we can measure the distance in four different manner or we can place a point in four different manner with reference to the reference planes. See, in this, the point is lying above HP in front of VP. Here, point is lying above HP behind VP. The point is lying below HP, behind VP. The point is lying below HP, in front of VP. So, these are the four different types or in these four types, we can place a point in space with reference to the reference planes. I hope all of you have understood. Now, listen, we can consider the first again. See, this point is 10 units in front of VP and 5 units above HP. 10 units in front of VP and 5 units above HP. When you are observing this point from its front, what will happen? This point will project here, right? So that we can see this distance as 10 units because the point, sorry, 5 units because this point is 5 units above HP. This point is fixed as 5 units above HP. So, when you are observing from front, this point will be projected here. So, that this distance will be 5 cm, right? Or 5, 5 units, right? So, actually this distance is 5 mm above HP. So, we can see that this distance is 5 cm. Similarly, when you are observing this point from the top, when you are observing this point from the top, what will happen? This distance will project here. So, that this distance will be 10 cm, this distance. This distance will be 10 cm. Actually, what is this distance? This distance is 10 units in front of VP, right? 10 units in front of VP. Also, we can observe that there will be a line which is known as a projector line like this and there will be another projector line like this. This projector line is the projector of from top view and this projector is the projector from front view. And you can understand that this line will always perpendicular line because uh, this is a point in space this is a point in space this line and this line will always be in the same vertical line 
this is a projector line from top view this is a projector line from front view and those two lines will always lie on the same projector line on the same vertical line similarly I have already told that this point is projected here this point is projected here what is our rule see this is a vertical plane and this is a horizontal plane so what is our rule our rule was keeping this vertical line fixed rotate the horizontal plane keeping this vertical plane fixed rotate the horizontal plane and make align with the vertical plane and there will be a reference line on the top of the reference line will be the front view and the top bottom of the reference line will be the top right or this is a vertical plane and this is the horizontal plane so what we what we have obtained we have obtained two points and a vertical line these two points represents the projection of the point that we have considered right is it clear so this distance is the distance above hp and this distance is the distance in front of vp so this distance is the distance above hp and this distance is the distance in front of that lies in front of vp now how can we represent the projection of points see i have already told that this is a front view and this is the top view front view is also known as elevation and the top view is also known as plan so the front view so in conventional representation actual point is always represented as the corresponding capital letter suppose if this point is a capital letter because it is an actual position so this point in actual actual position is represented with the, the corresponding capital letter so this is a position point capital a and these are two projections what are the two projections one is its front view and the another one is its top view the front view is always represented with the, the small letter with a prime the front view or elevation is always represented with the, the small letter of the corresponding letter and a prime or dash so since the point considered as capital a the front view will be a dash and the top view is represented with the corresponding small letter small a so this is the front view or elevation and this is the top view or plan and if we are considering the side view side view is represented with the a double dash so this is the conventional representation of projection so so the front view is always represented with the a dash and the top view is always represented with the a now coming back to the previous ex uh, example see this was the capital or original point a this was its uh, front view this was its uh, top view so what will happen this is front view means it is a dash this is top view means it is a now the point is above hp the point is in front of vp right? the point is above hp so above hp means uh, it will be above the xy line and mark that point name that point as a dash similarly in front of vp what will happen for the point in front of vp it coming under the xy line below the xy line alle right? with the it can be named only as a small a so this is the point capital a so this will be a dash and this will be a so the projection can be drawn as if this is the xy line this point will be a dash this point will be a and this distance will be 10 units and this distance will be 5 units so this is and this is the reference line so this is the way of representing the projection of a point see actually this is the projection of a point which is placed above hp and in front of vp similarly three other positions are there according to the positions this distance the direction of the distance will always vary that i will explain later you have to understood this thing that means if the point is above hp and in front of vp see the if the point is above hp and in front of vp what will happen above hp draw a line above xy line and name that point as a dash locate the point above xy line and name that point as a dash point is in front of vp locate the point below the xy line and name it as a see i will repeat 
above HP. All the projections related with the HP or the projection or projection on front uh, or the front view or the projection on VP. The distance from HP or the front view or the projection on VP always will have a dash. Now, the top view or the projection on HP or the plan is indicated with the only the letter A. So, front view or the distance measured from HP is indicated with the A dash. The top view or plan or the distance measured from VP is indicated with the A. So, I will repeat. The point is above HP. The point is above HP. Locate above the XY line and name it as A dash. The point is in front of VP. In front of VP. Locate below the XY line and name it as A. So, you have to remember this thing and according to the position in another quadrants, just reverse what we have done here. That I will explain. So, I will explain again. The point is above HP. Point is above HP. Point is above HP. Point is above HP means it is really it is a, a distance is a measured from HP. So it is a front view. Front view means it will be above the XY line marking with A dash. The point is in front of VP. In front of VP the distance is measured from VP or it is top view. So in front of VP means below the XY line and mark it as A. So above the XY line. The point is above HP. So, above the XY line and mark it as A dash. The point is in front of VP. Below the XY line and mark it as A. So, this is the method of projection of a point which is in the first quadrant. Above HP and in front of VP. Now, we can do a problem where I will give you 8 different points and on completing the projection of that 8 different points, you will be able to understand how the projection of a point can be drawn. Now before moving to the problem, I will give you an easy method for understanding or indicating the four different positions in space that we have to use while drawing the projections. So I have already explained the four different positions as above HP, below HP, in front of VP, behind the VP. See, this can be easily represented as above HP like this. That means above XY line, right? Below HP, in front of VP, behind the VP. How this four arrows came means, see, this is HP and this is VP. So above HP, above HP, below HP. So below HP, in front of VP, right? So this is in front of VP. Now, this is behind VP. So this is behind VP. So this is the method of representation of the points in space. So I hope all of you have understood this method of indicating the uh, points with respect to the principal planes, horizontal plane and the vertical plane. Actually, I want to explain a problem of projection of nine different points in this particular video but since this video is become lengthy I am stopping here and in this and in the next video we, we will discuss a problem of the projection of nine different points in space so I believe that with the help of this video you could obtain a concept of how to draw or how to obtain the projection of points and once you go through the next video, you will be thoroughly understood how to draw the projections of points. So thank you all for watching this video. In the next video, we will discuss a problem of a projection of nine different points. So thank you all and see you again in the next video.